Broadcasting live worldwide. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. I am your host, Elkanai. You can call me Frank, though. Um, today we are looking at it's how not why so with that it's a wellness event in association with sincere webcast services please follow us on facebook twitter instagram follow us on facebook twitter and instagram oh brum brum yeah pardon me i'm actually doing this recording (laughs) i sat in my room uh, at the uh, shared accommodation that I live in. Uh, it's a shared house. It's an old house, actually. Uh, it's uh, Victorian. It's uh, part of that, that annex uh, to the townhouse there, uh, just a few doors down. Uh, anyway, enough of that. Um, as I was saying, this is a wellness event in association with Sincere Webcast Services and Facebook about coherency and the trenchancy of language and applied linguistics. Well, you may ask, what is trenchancy? Uh, Well, trenchancy is to do with incisiveness. And when someone is incisive, you would use brief and direct sentences, or rather concise even, uh, concise sentences to explain exactly what it is you're trying to get across so um for a more dictionary interpretation incisive is an adjective it's of a person or a mental process when you're intelligently analytical and exercising clear thinking by being concise or brief and direct quick uh, and to the point in action that's an adjective incisive that's what trenchancy is it's to do with being incisive and coherency not wanting to patronize anybody let alone condescend anyone but coherency is a state a state of sticking together Um, so things are coherent um, quality uh, coherence uh, logical connected consistent so there you go that's what coherency and being coherent and coherence is all about um, you might want to look at how Coherence and cohesion are defined. Coherence is defined as a quality of being logical, consistent, and able to be understood. Now, um, cohesion, on the other hand, refers to an act of forming a whole unit uh, and effectively a subset of coherence. Um, more on the point of that, uh, and the psychological. Uh, so in psychology, cohesion, coherence, and declarative memory. So this is about communication and continuity. Uh, there's indicators that are defined within the use of those words, uh, cohesive and coherent in psychology. Uh, it's about making bonds and links in your mind and your ability to be able to communicate uh, your language and linguistics. Um, cognitively um, 
so that you can articulate exactly what it is you mean to be saying uh, and you mean to be understood in what you know so um going back, going back how, how is, the, is reason the reason to why, to why? Because, because the phrase, the phrase is, brief is brief and direct, and direct. But a, but a correct short, short meaning, meaning of, of long, long meaning, meaning that, that explains, explains an easily, easily divisible, divisible agreement, agreement even, even in the case, case of agreeing, agreeing to, disagree, to disagree and claiming a disagreement in an act of disrespect, disobedience. But even simple sentences can benefit from extra emphasis at times instead of being caught up without flowing and use of poor focus. So, so agitation, agitation and pride, pride are big, big indicators, indicators of syndromes, syndromes uh, like, like forgetfulness, forgetful confusion, confusion and rage. rage. Moments, Moments of program defeat in the very how of a reason is due to the calls to logic and truth tautology effect. Right, so what do I mean by tautology? Well, tautology effects. So let's look at tautology. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Tautology is a noun, the saying of the same thing twice over in different words. So that's paraphrasing when you're speaking upon something a subject as topical subject matter but using in your own words in lots of different ways to mean the same thing to just be on about the same thing but in lots of different ways to be saying saying it communicating that when it's all similarity of the same topic and subject considered to be a fault of style uh, and arrived one offer after the other in succession so saying the same thing twice over in different words so like as well a phrase or expression in which the same thing is said twice in different words a statement that is true by necessity or by virtue of its logical form uh, tautology a formula assertion for the that is true in every possible interpretation and in abstract examples either the ball is all green or the ball is not all green either the ball is all green or the ball is not all green that's one example um, but really it's a point a point of it is almost paraph it's like paraphrasing tautology is expression of phrase so um, you're just saying the same thing twice, but in a different way, um, like paraphrasing. Uh, tautology can help to add emphasis and clarity or introduce intentional ambiguity. Talk sometimes tautology involves just a few words that mean the same thing. Uh, so what I was looking for... Um, the ATM comment. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. <laughs> <laughs>